a lot of people still mistakenly believe that an electric car battery or even a home energy storage battery, that once it has a problem, you have to just throw it in the bin. It's just waste, it's junk. But that's actually not true. Tesla already offers, if you want to get a new battery, right, in your old EV, you can get a, a refurbished battery already. And not just Tesla, but other companies offer this too. And now the world's biggest battery company is saying, no need to throw out your batteries, we can just repair them. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. CATL, uh, they are saying battery replacement costs uh, well, should be essentially a thing of the past. On its first anniversary, CATL's independent aftermarket brand, Ning Service, launched a CTP battery repair service. A CTP is just a reference to saying a structural battery pack, essentially. This service comes as new energy vehicle penetration, basically electric cars and plug-in hybrid cells have hit around 55% in China. And it's right when a lot of these vehicles have been around for say three to six, seven years, coming up to that point when warranty might actually expire for some of these brands. So does the perception the warranty expires on an EV, it's too dangerous to buy a used EV because if it doesn't have any warranty, you could have to pay a lot of money for a new battery. Now, the crazy thing is, to actually fix an old EV battery, it's not actually all that expensive. In recent years, demand for higher volume or volumetric energy density, in other words, higher battery energy density in batteries has led to an increase in the adoption of cell-to-pack technology, which is similar to Tesla's structural battery packs. But CTP's high integration makes repairs more difficult because the batteries are built into the structure of the vehicle. Um, it's sort of tricky to get to them. So the industry says there is a replace, don't repair. That's what they traditionally have said, replace, don't repair. If the battery is a structural battery pack. And that's um, not necessary, basically. Research by the China Insurance Association on vehicle parts to whole ratios indicates that among 59 pure electric EV models, the average parts to whole ratio for power pack power batteries is 51%. And this means, says Car News China, that for a well, 27,000 US dollar EV, the cost of replacing the battery pack in after sale service is around 13,750 US dollars if you get that battery replaced by the manufacturer. Now, of course, of course you can get a, an aftermarket battery for a lot less than that, I mean, far, a fraction of that cost. But that is the average cost to insurers. So your insurance, if they perceive you're driving a secondhand EV that will need a battery pack replacement at some point, it's going to cost 14,000 US dollars, your insurance costs will be quite high. Now, the truth is insurers are not even doing this anyway. In Australia, for example, I've spoken to insurers myself and they will actually, I've heard they can actually replace an entire battery for only a few thousand dollars. I'm talking like $3,000. But technically, it's a bit of a scam going on here with the insurance costs and I think insurers are sometimes getting ripped off. Anyhow, an engineer at Ning Services Shanghai Direct Operated Experience Center told a reporter of Chinese media, Yikai, that the repair service price is much lower than replacing a full battery pack. A typical EV battery replacement costs apparently 13,000 US dollars. I don't believe that, but that's what Car News China says. Repairs can reduce the cost to $1,370 to a total of $2,700 US dollars. So between $1,300 to $2,700 US dollars. This service though is currently only for EVs that have CATL batteries. Uh, I mean, obviously if you're in China, 
Probably about half the EVs in China have CATL batteries. It's a very, very high percentage. About 50% or a bit, bit more than 50% market share. Ning service came from CATL's after sales service department, which was established in 2015 and was officially upgraded to an independent brand in 2024. It has more than 1,100 service outlets in 75 countries. So this is not just for China. Um, 800 of its service outlets are in China, but 300 of them are in 74 other countries around the world. That means if you have, say, a Tesla Model 3, they use CATL batteries, uh, many other cars do, you can attend one of these Ning service centers in 74 different countries, and they can test the battery, they can replace it, refurbish it, um, make it you know good to go again. So this concept that you've got to just throw your battery pack out when it has an issue, if it does, is actually not correct. According to Yikai, CATL asserts that through Ning service, the company can establish an ecological closed loop for batteries. In the future, CATL's NEV aftermarket plans to extend beyond vehicle inspection and repair to include charging and battery swapping, as well as various business models like low altitude economy, marine applications, and zero carbon infrastructure. Now, the truth is that um, the EV battery market, you can buy replacement batteries for a fraction of that 13,000 US dollar cost currently. And that is, uh, I don't know where they got that number from. I don't believe that's actually correct anymore unless the battery is extremely large and some sort of very unusual battery. But the point is to say, you don't even need to replace batteries most of the time now. And battery degradation is not likely to go to that point, you know, below 60% for most batteries for, for 20 years of additional ownership, most cars. Not all of them, but for most. But there's a lot of options now. Like I said, you can buy refurbished batteries from Tesla, you can buy aftermarket batteries from numerous companies, or you can go and get your battery repaired by CATL, and that might be the cheapest way to go. Anyhow, this is pretty kind of cool, isn't it? Because really, this whole concept of saying EV batteries don't last, they need to be replaced, if you have one fault with them, they get thrown out, it's really not true. The other thing I think it's important to mention is that EV batteries, if they do eventually wear out after a very long period of time, they can often be used in energy storage but then if they wear out even beyond that, which seems um, to be actually extremely unlikely considering Nissan Leaf batteries power airports and things like that, but even if they do, they get recycled. EV batteries are not simply sitting around gathering dust. The minerals in them are actually very, very valuable. And therefore, this is a circular economy. This whole idea that EVs are very polluting to make and the batteries are terrible and you never get your payback, and not never, but you know, you, your payback takes a few years. Well, the truth is in the future, we're going to say, well, all these minerals in these batteries have been recycled. That's the awesome thing about it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.